the Night Sky Network, how to register, and how to log hours. This is a short video to help people get registered with the Night Sky Network so that they can log their public outreach hours. Anyone who has a link to this video has probably been asked to start logging hours by an astronomy club's outreach director. The Night Sky Network website is pretty easy to find, but it's a little bit hard to use. Uh, when you Google for the site, you'll see links to the Night Sky Network and another site called Night Skies Network. The one you want, at least for the purposes of this video, is the one with NASA in the URL. It should be the first one that you see. There's a link for clubs and events on the menu bar on the main page. That's the first link. Uh, go ahead and select that and it will search for clubs within a 100 mile radius of your zip code. You have an option to change that location if you like. Uh, the page will present a calendar of outreach events and then under it a map full of pins. Near the bottom of that page is a list of clubs that are within the 100 mile radius. There's probably other ways to find your club. This is just how I happen to do it. Uh, it, worked fine. it works fine. If your club does not exist on the website, either uh, through this search or through a more extensive search, um, you might need to register the club with the website. Talk to the officers at your club to figure out who's the best person to be the, the point person for NASA. My club shows up at the bottom of the list here, so I selected it. It took me to a page that gives information about my club, and it gives two links under it. One for the club's external web page, and one for a membership portal that's also controlled by my club. Neither of these are what you want. Um, going back to the top, uh, below the main menu bar is a second menu, menu bar that's got a lot of links uh, to the club and its events. And near the end of this second menu bar is a, a link called register. That's the one you need, at least uh, to get signed up. It asks for lots of information, and I'm not sure how much it really needs. I gave the minimum. I only answered things that I felt like sharing with NASA. So, uh, but be careful here. If you use, if your browser uh, will does autofill on some of the boxes, it might share information that you we're really hoping to leave out. Um, below the boxes for membership information, there are a bunch of radio buttons for three different things. The first block is for the find members section of the website. And I'm assuming that this will allow other people to find you uh, in your role as a participant of the network. You can say no to anything you don't like here. I definitely didn't want my phone number showing. The second block is for the club roster. This section is uh, to let people in your own club find you. Uh, it's only your club that can see this information. If your club doesn't have some other kind of roster to help members get in touch with each other, you all will probably want to be included here. Uh, the third block is for notification preferences. And my club is really good about sharing information about uh, events, so I check no on everything except for the last button. Uh, that gives Night Sky Network permission to send me its own newsletter. Uh, then you click on the box at the bottom to show you're not a robot, then hit the submit button. And the next page said that my registration request has been sent to my club and I'll hear back soon. Uh, my browser asked me if I wanted to update some autofill options. Uh, that, that confused me for a bit, but it's, it's nothing. I immediately got an email from Night Sky Network showing who received my registration request and it also showed all the information that I provided in the, re in the registration request itself. Then a little later in the day I got another email saying that I was approved so I guess that first email got to the guy he said yep he, I know this guy so they let me in and uh, the next email gave me a user ID and a password along with a couple of links. Uh, one of the links was to change the password. Now it's time to uh, try to log some hours. And this is a little bit difficult to find. Uh, about two weeks ago, I was at a star party for about two hours, so I'll try to log that. In Google, I selected the uh, club member login link. Then I put the ID and password from the email. 
it took me to a page just like the one that I saw earlier when I was trying to register. It uh, shows all the club information. But this time the register link isn't there, which makes sense. I put the cursor over my profile in the second level menu bar and saw that one of the links under it was my volunteer hours. That's not real intuitive, uh, but it is what it is. So I, I click that. And then in the next page, I see another link that says add my volunteer hours. Once I got there, it was a pretty simple deal. Ah. Okay, first thing I did, I had to look up, um, first thing I had to do is look up what date it was uh, when I did the outreach event. So I populate these uh, drop downs. And uh, put the name of the event, left the uh, drop down for the type of service as public outreach. Uh, put the number of hours. Miles driven. Um, Miles driven, uh, one quarter mile. I live real close to the outreach event. That's pretty convenient. Then a description of what I did that night. And then a submit. And that was it. Pretty simple. Once you find out where to enter it, it's pretty easy. I hope this helps you get started logging your hours. Thanks for watching.